Hey, what's up programmers? This is Eric, and today we're going to talk about observables in the Aurelia.js framework, Aurelia framework. And a uh, little follow-up from last time. Last time I had talked about creating, I'll show you the web page we have here. If we go to localhost. Last time we went ahead and created this two-way binded value here. And I told you that two-way binding and bind and two-way bind were synonymous or aliases of each other, but that's really not true. Um, in my last video, someone commented that actually uh, it depends on what attributes inside the input tag or whatever tag you're using that you bind to will depend it on if it's the bind is one way or two binds. So in other words, if we look at something like this and we did title.bind and put that to message. This title.bind isn't necessarily two-way bound, two-way bound. In in other words, it's not necessarily it's it's one way by default. So that just keep that in mind. You may want to be more explicit in the binding that you do. So you may want to use something instead of doing value.bind just to get to make sure you don't get confused. You might want to do value one way or two way so you know what's happening but when you bind against the value in an input it's two way meaning that it's changing here you press here it's changing both on both sides and also uh, one more caveat I forgot to mention so if we look at our header.js which is this is our custom element and we call these view and view models or class files here this is the class for a header, uh, you notice that there's it defaults when you use the Aurelia when you use the Aurelia tool, the generator to create everything. It defaults and adds this bindable value, and there's something called value changed in there. I'll go ahead and delete it. So what's happening is that if you create a bindable value, you can actually see when it changes. So if we create a and by convention, it's message, it's the name of the bindable variable, and then changed afterwards. So message changed, and then it's new value, old value. So since we set it a, since we made the, the variable bindable, we can now observe this. So I can do something like console.log new value. Um, and then I can see what comes up there. So we'll, how about we just change that there? And we'll make sure it re reloading here. We'll take a look real quickly. Oop, one second. The new value is not defined. One sec. I think we just have a variable problem here. A typo there we go so now if I type something you can see here every time I type something it's writing to the console down here and it's showing the values as it changes so that's obviously one of the reasons you want to use it as a bindable if I wanted to get the old value you can do that too so I went ahead and saved it and now when I type in it's still showing the last one, so that's the old value before it changes. So you see my new website 234, but it really says my new website 2345. So you can look at the new end on and value and the old value of it. Okay, and that's how you do that. So let's take a look at observables. You can use observables in more places. Unlike bindable, which will only work with our attributes and custom elements, we can use observables in our normal view and view models. So let's take a look at our about page here and we'll just go ahead and import it in okay and 
From here we can create an observable. We'll just call it uh, M. We'll call it Hello World. And then inside our HTML, we'll go ahead and add a message. And we'll do kind of the same example we saw before, but this time here, instead of in the custom element, we'll do value.bind equals the M. And we'll save it. We'll go to about. And here's our hello world as we expected. Our hello world is there. And take a look here. So that's all we have so far. So we can also, as we did before, we can do m changed and we can do new value, old value. And we can then log it to the console. old value and now we'll save it so now if we change anything you can see here see the old value and it looks like we did the new value first so new value old value so it works exactly the same but now we can use observables here so, yep you can see there that's just a quick way to do observables if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks, and please subscribe if you like this video. Take care.